All right, Coach Roberts, I felt it only appropriate to interview you and talk to you and have a conversation with you while you're behind the wheel. And that is because you have a nice road trip coming up here. What's the road trip you got coming up? Well, I do. Uh, we're going to uh, go out to Fargo here on about, uh, about a week from now. We're leaving, driving out to Fargo. And uh, boss wants <laughs> to do that, so... I'm sorry, I have to laugh because can you give me roughly how, how far of a uh, drive that's going to be? I think it's about 1,600 miles. One way? One way. So, you guys going to save about 40 bucks on a flight? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> about 40 bucks. But uh, then we're going to probably spend about 35 of it on a, on a Motel 6 or something. <laughs> so, I, I, uh, I tried to ask the boss if, you know, to, to bid it out and if we were really saving any money and see if I could talk him into maybe flying at least part of the way. What was but, his, uh, what's his rationale? I'd like to I know. think he just wants to get some good, good timing with me in the car is what I come to. Some windshield you know. time. Yeah. A lot know, of windshield just, time. That, that is a lot of windshield a lot time. Of, a lot of talking, scheming maybe, upcoming season and, you know, just get to spend some good quality time, I guess, driving through Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana, Montana, into North Dakota. You're gonna get to see a whole bunch of Montana. Oh uh, yeah, all of it. Yeah, but about, about 10, 10 hours across Montana. I think oh. done it a couple times. That sounds fun. All right, uh, why is uh, why is going to Fargo so important? Why is it so important to the Oregon staff that they're gonna drive 1,600 miles one way? Uh, to the Oregon State staff. Yeah, why why is it so important to you guys? Uh, you know, I think the main thing is the guys you're tracking and, you know, you, you do your homework and you think you know who they are, but you want to you wanna see how they stand up in, you know, high-level national competition as opposed to just, you know, the state and the regional out here. Make sure that, uh, you know, see how they compete, see how they hold up over two or three days, too. Um, you know, big tournament atmosphere and, you know, kind of when the, when the pressure's on and, and just against the best kids out there is the main thing. Do you think, minus the crowd, that that's the closest thing, measuring stick, that you guys have as a staff for these these high school kids? Do you think that's the closest thing to the NCAA tournament, you know, minus the, the, the crowd? Yeah, I think in a lot of ways it, it probably is because, you know, for one thing is you have, the, you know, you have a little bit of a grind like you would at the NCAA tournament. You, you know, you've got a, a three-day tournament and wrestling, you know, who knows how many matches over a day's time and, you know, coming up one after another. So it's good to see, you know, obviously them against other tough competitors, but, uh, you know, too, how they hold up, how they handle adversity, um, you know, and just, just to watch them, just to tune in on the things and, you know, see how, how they uh, operate under pressure, and, you know, in a big-time atmosphere, national-level atmosphere. Uh, what are you, Jim and uh, Troy, the, uh, and all the other staff members, what are you guys really looking for in, in a guy, like a, you know, a, a top-notch Division One guy? What are you looking for? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is probably, you know, just their, their toughness and their attitude. Um, you know, I mean, obviously at this level, with the level of kids out there, you got to get kids with talent, you know, too, some, some talent. I mean, they have to bring, have to have some skills to wrestle at, at this level, but you know, a lot of that stuff you can uh, teach them, you know, but you want them to have the right attitude and and to be good workers and, you know, to know you're getting, you know, a, a good quality kid in terms of, you know, his attitude and, and uh, his work ethic and, you know, his, his off the mat um, habits and all that stuff. Guys like Michael Mangrum, can you teach him to do a one foot gainer? He already knew when he came in here. He's been trying to teach me and, and uh, Steiner, but we're, we're not getting it so far. He, he's an uh, unbelievable athlete. He's a great athlete. He uh, won Fargo twice. Do yeah, you are you guys looking for more Michael Mangrum type guys, like uh, ability wise? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Anytime you can, I think, get an athlete like that. He, he's a really special athlete who, but you know, he's got wrestling skills too that he's worked on and. And uh, you know, developed over the years, and he is a, he is a great athlete. But 
he's also spent a lot of time in wrestling rooms and and uh, you know developing his skills and, and his toughness. And, but yeah, he's uh, you know when you get a guy like that, you have something to work with from day one. I mean, he can he can just do a lot of stuff that not everybody can do. And things you can't teach, like you're saying. Absolutely, he's got a great feel and. You know, he's strong and explosive and uh, just can do a lot of stuff that would be really hard to teach a guy to do. How excited are you to see him and guys like Lara step into your starting lineup this year? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I'm, I'm always, uh, you know, you always want to see what you, what you got when they get out there in competition. I mean, you know, they look tough in the room and they've had some good success in open tournaments and, and things like that. It seemed like they've got better over the course of the year. But you always also want to see, you know, how they how they are when they get in competition. You know, again, when the pressure's on and when you know just a season, just the adversity of a season, and you know different opponents and the way they match up. You want to see how they, you know, function when they get in there. Uh, how bad do you think it hurts the Oregon State team to lose uh, All-American and Olympian uh, Heinrich Barnes in your starting lineup? Um, it's it takes its toll. You know, we got some guys that we're excited about uh, the future and putting them in there, younger guys. But yeah, he was a, you know, he was a guy we could count on for, you know, he, he's pretty sure bet most of the time against most of the guys he wrestled last year. You know, especially in a lot of dual meets, we could count on that uh, 149 that you know getting a win and trying to help us win a win the meet. But. Uh, you know, and other than that, he's a good leader too. He's he's uh, was a great leader in terms of uh, by example. You know, probably not the most vocal guy, but but uh, did things the right way, trained the, the right way, and he got good results from it. So he'd be a tough guy to replace. It's a good thing we're at least still going to have him around the program, training here and the in, you know living here full time. He's he's still a student yet. Uh, finishing up his degree and training for the next Olympic cycle. All right. Last thing I'm going to ask you, it's kind of not about Oregon State wrestling, but it is, but it isn't. Okay, all you guys have your kids actively involved around here. How important is it to have your son around wrestling how you have been? Um, you know, I'm, I'm passionate for wrestling and biased about what the sport has given me and everything. And so, you know, you say you, you, you want your, their, your kids to do the things they want to do. Um, but you know, a little bit of wants to see him gravitate toward wrestling. But the main thing for me is uh, just the quality of people they get to be around. I mean, the guys that we've got here. I mean, they're you know great examples. And if and if a kid ends up wrestling, you know, long term or just does it when he's a little guy or whatever, I I like having him around the, those kind of people. You know, where he can learn and hopefully instill the kind of work ethics they have, the kind of you know, character they have on and off the mat, so it's a big deal to me. And uh, I think the kids like it, you know, they like that family atmosphere. I think they like having the kids around, you seeing them in the camp. And You're you saying know. your wrestlers and the kids yeah, yeah, at the yeah. camp? Yeah, both. You know, I think our wrestlers like it. They like having the little guys around, coming and, you know, hassling them after, after the session or, uh, you know, coming over and bugging them, jumping on them. Uh, trying to get them to play video games with them, stuff like that. I guess I lied. There's one more question. How okay. important to you is it to not push too hard with your son? Yeah, it's important. You know, I didn't come from that background myself, so I think that's, I could probably learn something from that, but my tendency would probably, um, I, ha I could have the potential to be in one of those guys. To be a pusher? Yeah, but I'm at least aware of it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot trying, of people aren't. Trying to not be too crazy. <laughs> We've all seen those, you know, seen the dads and that do that. And, you know, a lot of the times it, the kid ends up, he doesn't mind, but for every one of those, I've also seen some guys that uh, just get tired of it and don't want to do it anymore either. So I'm going to try to have a good balance, keep it in check. Are we here, man? We are here. We're going to get ourselves some uh, little cup of coffee. All right, so, okay. Well, another last thing, I guess. 
Is the spoof, the mockumentary you guys did of you true about you loving coffee? That was probably a little bit exaggerated. <laughs> but uh, it is 1.30 here. We're going to get us a, a, a cup of coffee and just a little one. Get ready for afternoon session. It, All was, right. it was just a little bit exaggerated, though. A little bit? Yeah. Little All bit. right. Well, it's time to go in and get some coffee. Let's Thanks for the it. ride, and let's do this. Okay.